Hello again, Pietro here with Gadgets Anonymous. <laughs> I have a, uh, a, not a guest speaker, but a guest today. This is my dog. Hi. How you doing, buddy? So uh, today we are unboxing, well, unpackaging the Seagate Touch Portable Hard Drive. Backup Plus Ultra Touch Seagate Rescue Edition. It's a portable hard drive. The reason I bought this because I ran out of space. I was exporting a video last night on my MacBook Air and it crashed because, well, I ran down to two gigabytes of space. Uh, when you're exporting and editing videos, depending on the length of video, yeah, you often need a good 50 to 100 gigabytes free. So I ran out of space. When I started editing, I had 70 free yeah, it, it, I just ran out. Let's unbox this so we can fix my out of space MacBook Air. Bought this last October. Thank you so much for the, <laughs> hi. Thank you so much for the views that helped pay for the laptop. And it's a great laptop. This is the 250 uh, gigabyte version. And this is a two terabyte, yes. Hi, and this is a two ter okay, and this is a two terabyte um, hard drive. I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not. So let me change the angle, and uh, we'll rip open the package. Here we go. So they don't really make these easy, easy open. So I'm just gonna make a small little incision. Okay, I'm gonna have to make two incisions. Is this thing stapled? No, this is not easy open packaging. I think they do this, well, Costco, because they don't want you, well, they don't want these things swiped. Oh, so close. Ah, we got it. Close knife. So there it is, wow, that is light. Really light actually. And thin. I like it. You know, it feels pretty sturdy. So there's the cable. Now the first drawback is that this is USB-A, which, I mean, it didn't quite clarify in the packaging. And then, I don't know what the heck that is. So luckily I have a port adapter for my MacBook Air. And on the back of the packaging, it does say that it supports Mac and Windows. So that's good news. Windows 7 and yeah. Let's connect this to my Mac and see how it works. So it comes with your normal propaganda, warranty stuff, Milo Create, something something and the cool thing is is this does come with a warranty and you have 90 days to change your mind at costco i did some research costco is selling it for 69 staples 62.99 free delivery bnh photo 79 or you can buy the five terabyte one for 104 but that five terabyte instead of the two terabyte one that this one is, well, it might not be compatible and two terabytes is all I need. That should be plenty. All right, small little snag in that last segment. Microphone uh, disconnected and I didn't even notice. So I apologize for the audio difference. Here's the device, the Seagate backup unit. And this is how I'm gonna connect it. This is a Anker uh, port adapter, kind of a mini docking station, if you will. You can get these online for about 60, 70 bucks. So this is USB-C. And these MacBook Airs, this is not the new, well, yeah, I think this is the newest one from 2020. Yeah, you kind of need one of these if you're gonna do anything. So we're gonna plug this in to the USB port and pray that it works. And we may or may not get a notification. Oh, so it just showed up right there on the desktop. Backup Plus, start here with the Mac app. This is probably gonna want me to uh, 
install something something. Now when you're doing these videos, first step is you wanna click on the time. You wanna click do not disturb. Okay, so we have to register it. Okay, it asked me to uh, download a little Seagate toolkit. Seagate installer app, open, accept, continue. Hopefully you can view that okay. All right, updating toolkit. And then the drive itself, so this is not a solid state drive. You can feel it humming, and that's probably why it was $60. So I don't know if the microphone can pick that up or not, but there's a slight noise. Now I didn't hear it vibrating on the table, so that's good. But just to let you know, this is not solid state. Toolkit wants to make changes, and okay. Install driver, waiting for drive to be connected. I'm primarily gonna use this just on the Mac for updating videos for YouTube and other social media platforms. Come on, install. Now this is gonna be a little bit longer video, so I will have chapter shortcuts down below. Hmm, waiting for drive to be ejected. A driver for Mac OS must be installed while the drive is disconnected for the computer. All right, I did that. Next. Skip. Sessu toolkit. Summary. No, I don't want that. All right, well, now we'll reconnect the drive. So I just unplugged it and plugged it back in again. Thank you for being part of a Seagate customer. Secure setup. A driver for Mac OS must be installed while the drive is disconnected from the computer. Please eject and then disconnect the drive. I did that already. Here's the screen. So now it's ejected. Settings, toolkit manual, about, toolkit support. Accept cookies, downloads, Seagate toolkit for Mac OS. Open. It's already running. Well, let's just try this. Quit. So if we go under Launchpad, there's the toolkit. Seagate secure, setup. Install driver. I, I know that. Okay, disconnect. Please wait. There we go. Now it's working. Hmm. That was weird. I don't know why that took so long. Installing driver, installing driver. Please wait. So you actually have to physically disconnect it from your computer, not just eject it. I must be tired. I apologize. But overall, I, I like it. Hopefully it will, I mean, I've had hard drives last five, 10 years. If money is not an object, maybe you should spend a little more and get solid state, but I'm gonna try this one out. And installing the driver takes a while. Ah, system permission blocked, okay. Allow. Toolkit requires permission to continue. So we have to go under security and permissions. So system preferences. Security and privacy. File vault, unlock. Privacy, weather, series. Hmm. Accessibility, about. and I've cleared off some time. If I click on, well, I've cleared up some space. I moved it all to that Seagate uh, portable touch drive. Uh, the data moving was a little slow, but if I go to storage, I have 37 gig free. Now I just finished editing uh, a film. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this this is a 13 minute, and then if you just click on the little bar, delete project, continue, gone, you've deleted it as well. So Apple, well, we can, well, here we go. Delete event. Go back to projects, I still have these projects there. And if I exit iMovie, that will free up any loose ends and any cache that was going. 
And if we wait just a minute, I'll go to Apple, about this Mac, storage, boom. Just like that, 104. Here's what I've learned on video editing. <laughs> um, you want to shoot the videos, put them together, edit them, let it get cold, publish it, make sure it uploads to YouTube correctly. After you verify that it's uploaded to YouTube correctly, awesome, come back, delete the project, you're done. You still have all the original footage that you've backed up to your cloud, whatever, Amazon, Apple, Google, Dropbox, uh, what's that one? The OneDrive by Microsoft, you, you name it, and then free up some space. So now that I have 104 gigabyte free, uh, now, uh, the next step is to open up iMovie. I can go back to my projects and I can finish this one right here or one of the five. I might, this one I actually published already, but I might go back and make some more edits and republish it. That Seagate portable drive, it's good. I need to use it a few more days. Okay, that's it for now. Well, I hope you liked that review of the Seagate Backup Plus Ultra Touch. You know, I'm seeing, I'm trying to read here on the packaging whether or not it says solid state or not. And it doesn't. It also doesn't. Yeah, it says USB 3.0 cable. All right. So it's not even USB 4.0. And it really should say USB-A. Sorry to get technical. It does have a two-year warranty, which is great. Uh, now, reason number five to return it. <clears throat> Sorry, a little winded. Uh, reason number five then return it. Once I set it up with my Mac, I wasn't able to move those files to a Windows computer. And I wasn't able to take files off an old Windows computer and move it around. It seems to only like Mac since I set it up with Mac. I thought it would be compatible with both. I've had thumb drives and portable drives in the past that have done that. Anyway, so nowhere in the packing packaging does it say solid state, but it doesn't say old school as well. And I thought because it was so small, that it would be solid state and it's two terabyte but for the price 70 dollars that was really tempting but now what am i going to do i have about two or three hundred no i have about 35 to 40 gigabytes of data on here of videos that i've shot and edited and then i keep i'm um, keeping a backup of my final cuts just in case youtube loses them so Returning the Seagate Backup Plus Ultra Touch, and ta-da! I'm gonna switch to this one. This one is solid state, and it's native USB-C. You're welcome, Apple, and thank you for forcing my hand. So I'll be doing a review on this SanDisk portable SSD solid state drive, yes. This one was a little bit more. This one was, instead of 70, this was on sale for 109 at Costco and I love how much smaller it is. So we'll take off the cable. It's about, oh, a third the size, so that's pretty good. Anyway, it's great, especially if you want a bargain for 65 bucks at Costco. And I think at Office, there's, there was another place that's selling it for 55. So for two terabytes and the portability, and if you have a USB-A port on your computer, I think you might really like it. And if you're not editing sound stuff or doing video editing, you just wanna dump photos and music and maybe movies on here, then yeah, it's a great portable drive. And then for some reason, I when I first used it, it was transferring a gig a minute. Now it's transferring more like a gigabyte every 30 seconds. So that's pretty fast. You could back up a Disney movie in about two or three minutes or less. So there you go. Pithy comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have another gadget review, this one, really soon. And uh, probably gonna review a watch next. 
So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified of my next video. That's all for now. The mantra, numbers mean something and numbers mean nothing at all. And let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid.